As we strive to learn how to become solution providers, which is in high demand and pays very well in today's society, we want you guys to be able to learn on your own, or at least at your own pace. So I've created a number of tutorials for that purpose. One of the first things we want to do is look at the assignment list link, which is in the upper left hand corner of this particular window. We can left click on it one time and it will bring up the assignment list page. Every gradable assignment has already been posted for the entire semester on the student portal. Next thing we want to do is look at the weekly categories so we know what we need to do every week. And one of the first assignments that we need to master is becoming a time management specialist. So we're going to look for that link, left click one time, and there's all the information we need to know on how to complete this assignment successfully. One of the first things we want to do is is find the link to create a calendar of events. You'll probably see that in two locations but it may be different on each individual workstation based on how you set up your email account. As I scan left to right I can see that I have a calendar icon near the upper left hand corner of this particular window. I'll place my mouse pointer on it. We'll notice it changes from an arrow to a hand which usually means it's a link. I'll left click one time and that will open up the calendar view of my Microsoft Outlook email account. At this time I'd like to change my view and as you can see I'm looking at the calendar and I'm looking at a monthly view so I'm going to use my systems for success scan my window left to right top to bottom and I'm going to place my mouse pointer on certain icons from one to two seconds to find out more about what they'll do. I'd like to change my view from a monthly view as you follow the mouse pointer to a weekly view. I'm going to go in reverse from right to left. As you can see I have a Sunday through Saturday view. Uh, if I wanted to use a work week, a lot of people work Monday through Friday and that's all they're concerned with. They can use that view and I can use the day that I'm actually on or I could change the day into a future day. Now it's time to talk about creating our first appointment or calendar event, as I like to call it. I'm going to use the example for a summer course I'm teaching on Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. I'm going to look at the daily view as we've chosen earlier. I'm going to scan my way down to the 9 o'clock box. I'm going to double left click. That should open up an untitled appointment window. And if it doesn't, we could also go to the new drop down menu and choose an appointment from there as well. In the subject dialog box, I'm going to type in the name or the course code for the first calendar event that I'm going to create. I'm also going to put in the location. This is an example of the rooms that I teach in. And I can see that the dates have already been chosen for me. 7-8-2013 and 7-8-2013 for a start and end time. It's one calendar event for one day. 9 a.m. has already been chosen for me because I chose that box earlier in a daily view, but I do have to change the end time. So I'll click on the drop down arrow and see if the end time is offered to me, and in this case it's not. The class ends at 11.55. I've chosen 11 a.m. I'm going to highlight the 00, zero change it to 55 five, and now I have the correct start date and time and the next box I'll look at is the reminder box. It's already chosen by default for you but in this case I don't believe I have to remind myself to come to class and reminders only show up when you're on your email account so I'm going to remove that checkbox. We should use the reminder option sparingly. Once we have chosen not to use a reminder, I'm going to look at the big white dialog box. And that's a personal choice whether or not you want to type something in that big white dialog box. I know I want this event or this appointment to recur throughout the semester. Rather than type it 14 times over seven weeks, if I scan the options that I have in this window, I'll see that I have an icon that's called recurrence. I'm going to left click one time on that. I'll see that I can make this particular appointment or calendar event recur. My start time is accurate. My end time is accurate. I see the recurrence pattern. I want it to happen on a weekly basis. 
I want it to recur every Monday and Wednesday. Well, now you can see Monday's already been chosen, but Wednesday has not. So I've chosen Wednesday. The start date, Monday, 7 8 2013. The end date, there is an end date. It's the end of the semester. So I'm going to choose end by, use the drop down arrow to make my life easy. September comes up. I'm going to have to go back to August. And the end date in August for this semester is the 21st for this particular course. At this time, I'll click on OK. There's still another one step that I have to complete before this appointment will actually be included in my calendar. Scan up to the top left-hand corner of the window. Click on Save and Close. I can see that the first appointment or calendar event has appeared in a daily view. Now I want to see, has it appeared for a weekly view? Yes, it has, Monday and Wednesday for this particular week. And I'd like to see if it has appeared throughout the month of July and August. You can see July, and let's check August, up until August 21st. Now you know how to create your first calendar event or appointment. Now I'd like to show you how to create a task. You are required for this particular assignment to create a task for every gradable assignment in this class. And I'll show you how to do that. First, you need to return to the portal. You need to click on the assignment list link. You also need to click on the assignment in week one called Time Management Specialist Plan 1. And you'll see the assignment details. Please take your time and read those instructions carefully so you can earn the maximum points for this particular assignment. Now we're going to be toggling back and forth between the portal window and your email Outlook account window. So if you're having difficulty, the beauty of this tutorial is you can pause it. You can actually repeat the entire video tutorial or you can go ahead and execute the commands as you see fit. One of the first things I want to do is highlight the title of this assignment. I used my left clicker. I dragged across all of the sections that I'd like to highlight. While my mouse pointer is on that blue highlighted area, I'm going to right click. That'll give me a menu. I'll left click on copy to execute a command. Now I'm going to go up to the top of the window where I have a tab for my Microsoft Outlook uh, email account window. I'll left click on that. I want to create a task and I can get to a task window a number of ways but I'd like to show you how to use this new icon drop down menu. I clicked on that, drop down menu appears. I have six options. I'd like to create a task. In that subject dialog box, I'm going to put my mouse pointer with the I beam in the dialog box. I'll right click to get a menu. I'll left click on paste. This way I did not have to type that information. I can put in the start date and you can check that for any given assignment. I'll put in my due date. You can figure out what that is by looking at the assignment description. I'll put down whether or not it's been completed or not. I would use a reminder so that I know that I have upcoming assignments that are due so I don't miss due dates. And you can choose when you want to be reminded. It can be a day before or a week before. It's your choice. And then I just look at the other options, whether or not I've started this process and I can use priority or not. There's one other area that I'd like to fill in and that is the big white dialog box. So I'm going to click on the title bar of this window, drag it down just a little bit so I can return to the portal. Once I return to the portal, I'd like to put the assignment description, in fact it is required for this assignment, into that big white dialog box. Once I've highlighted the area that I'm most concerned about, and I did highlight a little bit too much, I will reselect the assignment description. Once I select the assignment description, I can right click on the blue selected highlighted area. That'll give me a menu. I can left click on the word copy. Now I can return to Microsoft Outlook, my email account. And in this case, I won't even see my task window but I can use my alt tab window and that will return me to a previous window and if you need help with that I can show you how that works in class I'm going to put my I beam in the big white dialog box I'm going to right click to get a menu 
I'm going to left click on paste and the assignment description is now a part of this newly created task. I have one step left and that is to click on save and close with a left click. And if I want to see my task, I have to scan my window left to right, top to bottom and find the icons in the bottom left hand corner that might bring up a task window for me. And I'm investigating that right now by placing my mouse pointer on the icon for one to two seconds. It'll give me some indication of what it is. And now I can see that I have a newly created task. When it's highlighted, it's in view on the right side of that particular task. Or I can double left click on that icon and open up a task window. Say I might have to edit it. So that'll give me the option to edit it. And as you can see, I have tasks dating back to 2009. I thought I'd leave them there, not only to remind myself when I first started this assignment, but to let students know that I use document and reference as a system for success. This concludes the Time Management Specialist video tutorial. Join me on YouTube and comment on what you think about this video. It's the Learning Should Be Fun series, where I believe knowledge is power. My purpose is to increase your skills to pay the bills and live the American dream. I'm Professor Naylor, the man with a plan, and it's all about you. Since 1998, I've been teaching some of the future solution providers of the world. Today, you learned what it is to be a time management specialist, and your journey has only just begun. So don't settle for anything less. Do your best as we continue to pursue your dream. Thank you for listening. Free use of music provided by dig.ccmixter.org. Be Cool Mix by Lastwell is licensed under Attribution 3.0.